On the high tide, during the last quarter of the moon, a very special event takes place on Christmas Island. It's the conclusion of the annual red crab migration, when tens of millions of crabs each release their tens of thousands of eggs into the ocean. But the journey starts long before that, as the crabs begin their migration to the beaches from their various shady sites all over the island. From far and wide they emerge from the forest and make their way slowly but surely to the beaches. The males leave first and dig a welcoming burrow close to the ocean where they mate with the females who arrive a little later. In order to avoid attrition on the roads, barriers are erected along the sides of the major roads to funnel the crabs along the gutters and down into crab underpasses. At one point, a crab bridge has been established to keep the crabs out of harm's way from the road trains that service the island's phosphate mines. Even so, they still spill out at intersections and cause significant road closures across the island. There are tens of millions of crabs on Christmas Island, and the females can be easily identified by the big egg sac they carry beneath them. Each female can brood as many as 100,000 eggs. The migration is triggered by the annual rains, usually around October to December. But as the crabs need moisture to survive, no rain means no migration. Or, if the crabs are already underway, they will halt the migration and dig in, creating a temporary burrow until more rain arrives. Once safely at the beach, they aggregate and wait. Though during the time of waiting, some of them will pop into the water for a dip in order that they don't dry out. Their annual migration to sea to spawn has been described by Sir David Attenborough as one of the 10 greatest natural wonders on earth. And as such, the annual migration attracts visitors from all over the world. Of course, many of the locals also get up at three o'clock in the morning just to witness this extraordinary event. Sometimes the actual spawning is split over two nights, but at some point, after what appears to be days of procrastination, they decide it's time. The females appear in their millions from the rocks behind the beaches to crawl across the sand and find a spot to release their precious cargo. This can be quite a hazardous activity, even when the tidal stream is at its lowest. The females need both to hold on to prevent themselves being washed out to sea, and at the same time pierce their egg sac and shake out their eggs into the water that's swirling around and occasionally over them. Their little dance is known as the shimmies, and all around the island there are crabs shimmying their eggs into the outgoing tide. Some manage in a single shimmy, others take three or four goes before they've unloaded all of their precious cargo. The dance is almost comical, like they're cheering their next of kin on, on their journey out to sea. The timing is important. The females choose the last quarter of the moon when the overall tidal wash is the least, and the high tide of that night, so that when the eggs are released, they're carried out to sea. The eggs hatch immediately, and the red crab larvae lives in the sea for about a month. After this time, the larvae, called megalops, crowd together at the shoreline, still breathing through their gills. Three to five days later, they leave the water, molt into air-breathing land crabs, and start migrating inland. Red crabs grow slowly, reaching about 40 millimetres after four to five years, at which time they are mature enough to join the annual migration. As soon as they're done, they wearily crab walk back up the beach to make room for the next female to unload her eggs. Finally, as the last crab has had her turn and the day starts to dawn, they start their long migration back towards their rainforest home. Once again, the roads are covered with migrating crabs, but this time not for long. Within a few days, almost all the red crabs are back in their forest homes and life on Christmas Island returns to normal until next year, when it all happens all over again. For more information on the red crab migration, visit the website christmas.net.au.